Welcome Year 6 to Royds Hall Community School. We are going to have a virtual tour around the school. Hopefully you'll be able to see where things are when you come up in September and you'll have a, a better idea of, of where to go and hopefully it will stop you from, from getting lost and feeling nervous over the summer. We have two entrances into Royds Hall, the main mansion doors and the reception entrance. If you are coming to Breakfast Club, which starts at 7.30 and finishes at 8 o'clock in the morning, then you'd come through the reception doors. The rest of the time, you'll go through the main mansion doors. These doors will be open at 8.15 in the morning and you have to be inside school at 8.25 or you'll be regarded as being late. Let's go inside. So now we come into the mansion part of the school. It was built in 1866 by Sir Joseph Crossland. It's also been used as a war hospital in the First World War. We've got beautiful stairways and a beautiful fireplace. But as we walk through the mansion, we come into the concourse. Coats are to be taken off at this point before you get to the second mansion door. Your coats are to go into your locker as we do not walk around with our coats in the school day. To the right, we have student finances and also the student reception. You would go to the student reception, things such as being lost, not knowing where a room was, if there was something wrong with your locker, if for whatever reason you've forgotten your planner, that you need a day sheet or your timetable. And lastly, for uniform issues and you need to borrow a part of your uniform. This is the concourse. This is a place where you can come during break time and lunch time. It's also one of the only two places where you're allowed your phone out only during lunch time and break time and you have to be sat down. Here is the drama studio. We are now going to go into the performance hall. In the performance hall you will have a weekly assembly. You will need to come into the assembly silently. Before you come into assembly you'll be lined up somewhere on the concourse or in the dining room preparing yourself to come into assembly silently. Off the concourse is the English corridor. These are where all the English rooms are. They go from room 23 all the way down to room 16. Outside the English rooms we get a lovely view of the mansion gardens. Room 19 is in the corner here. There are more English classrooms down this corridor. We're going to go back a touch now to where room 19 was and we're going to go up the stairs here. This is room 10 in the corner. These are where the humanities rooms are, which is Geography and History and Eric. We'll carry on through these doors on the top corridor, where we have the ICT suites, there's three of them. This is the ILC, or the library. Let's go inside and have a look. You can come into the ILC at lunchtime and break time to read and to relax. There are lots of computers here in the ILC. You can come in and log on at lunchtime and check your homework, check your class charts, 
and make sure that all your homework is up to date. If for any reason you have forgotten or lost any equipment, this could be purchased at the ILC also. There is also another humanities room, room 3, down this corridor which then leads us on to music. So we're going to need to go right back to the end of the English corridor again. This is below the ICT suite. So down here in this, cor in this corridor we have modern foreign language where you'll learn French. We have the art rooms and we also have the ant rooms. While I've got a moment, I'm just going to say to you about the planner. So you'll be given a planner which will have a map around the school. So make sure that you use that if you get lost. Have a look at it before you come to school and try and memorise where things are. At the end of this corridor we have the additional needs team which are housed in the ant room and they will do intervention in maths and English. So if you ever need to go to the ant room it's at the end of the corridor of the art corridor. So here is the map uh, of the school that will be in your planner. So as I say make sure you have a, a look at that before you come to school and try your best to, to memorise it. You'll need to bring your planner in every day. It's part of your daily equipment. You'll use your planner every day to record homework in there. Other equipment that you'll need to bring are pens, pencils, ruler, a rubber, a sharpener, and a calculator. Calculators can be bought in school. The really, really good ones that are scientific, they're only six pounds 50, a lot cheaper than in the shops. So we're walking up from the ant room and the art corridor up towards the mansion doors again. So from the mansion doors we can walk through the, the mansion part of the building over to the concourse and now over to the other part of the school. We followed the one way system around the English corridors in this part of the building we need to walk on the left hand side of the corridor just so that we're not bumping into people. So now we're just going to go outside into the quad area which takes us into the PE department. We have some great facilities in the PE department. On the right here is the fitness suite. In the fitness suite we've got running machines, rowing machines and other exercise machines, cross trainer that you'll be able to use at some time. Across from the fitness suite is the gym. On the right hand side we've got the boys changing rooms and on the left hand side the girls changing rooms and as we go into the gym uh, you can see at the moment because of uh, we're in lockdown there's a lot of chairs in here that just been stored but uh, it's a fairly big gym. Up from the gym is the sports hall, you can see that it's a big Sports hall, it's a full size basketball court and full size five a side pitch. And uh, there's some stairs that we can go up, and this will take us to the changing rooms. At the top of the stairs on the left will be the boys' changing rooms. We just have a, a look out over the, the sports hall. So we've got the boys' changing rooms and then you have to come back on yourself uh, to get down to the girls changing rooms. So now at the very end of the, uh, the sports hall is the squash courts. So we've got two squash courts uh, that have been recently refurbished 
Uh, very nice squash courts, I use them myself. And there we go, we've got glass back squash courts and they're very good. Coming out from the PE area, we're gonna turn left and we're heading towards the dining room. So inside the dining room here, you can see it's fairly big. Down the bottom there is some drinking water. Where the green shutters are is where you need to line up for your food, or you can just sit down and, and have your packed lunch. Again, you're allowed your phone out as long as you are sat down in the, the dining hall. And it has to be lunch and break time. So I'm just gonna show you where one of the thumbprint machines are. So at the thumbprint machine, you can take cash you can insert the cash into uh, the machine and log it onto your account. You can also do that at home uh, through a bank transfer, but that will be told to you at a different time for, for parents. There are three of these machines around the school. There's one in the canteen, there's one in the concourse, and there's one at the towel block stairs. So down this corridor is the head of year room, and also the well-being room. The well-being room is on the right-hand side. So the head of year room is at the bottom where all the heads of year are. And uh, your head of year will be Mr. Jagger. On another video, he will introduce himself. Outside the dining room is the tower block. So we we'll just walk towards the tower block and to the left here is where a thumb machine is. We're now at the tower block. The tower block is three storeys high. It has an A floor, then a B floor, and then an M floor. It's not A, B, C, but A, B, M. M stands for maths, the maths floor, which is at the top of the tower block. So this is the design and technology department. This is the A floor. So all the rooms on here start with an A. So A1, A2, and so forth. So when you see that you've got a lesson on the A floor, this is where you need to come. There's a cooking room and a sewing room, but there's also a science room. Mrs. Fagelman also teaches on, on this floor. So, so you can see that the lockers are taped up at the moment. They're just out of use while the uh, school is, is closed down for, for lockdown. So at the end here we have our woodworking room or our technology room where Mr Pritchard teaches. From design and technology we're going to carry on up the stairs. This is the one way system that we're following okay? and we're going to go up to the science floor. So this is the B floor where all the science teachers are apart from Mrs Fagelman as we said before. Now carrying on up the one-way system from science, we are gonna go up to the maths floor. So this is where all the maths teachers are. It goes from room M1 all the way up to room M8. So if you have a maths class and it says the room is M4, then we come all the way up to the top of the tower block. This is the end of our tour of Roy Toll Community School. And hopefully now that you've seen inside the building, you'll feel a little bit less nervous about coming up in September. It is a big building, but over time, as you get used to the building, it'll feel a little bit smaller. We hope that you have a nice summer and take the time to, to get yourself ready to, to moving up uh, in September. Take care, bye-bye.